It's finally time. Hey, it's me. So today, as you can tell from the title, I am finally finished with my regalia and I can finally do a regalia show off video. Now I've already done one of these videos with my uh, previous regalia. Um, I'll link it right there. You can go watch that if you want. A lot of people really like that video and um, that was filmed over a year ago and I believe like March of last year, uh, March of 2019. It is currently May 6th, uh, 2020 and I'm done with my regalia finally. Now back in March 2019, um, after, I believe it was after I filmed this video um, showing off my regalia, I ended up going to a powwow, my first powwow in years that I danced to, and I squeezed my butt into this regalia. It hardly fit me, but alas, it still went on. And um, I think after dancing in that powwow and then filming the show off video, I just kind of realized like, I need a new one. I need a regalia that is mine as, you know, an adult woman. This past regalia of mine, it um, was made when I was a teenager. Most of the items with it were made when I was a teenager. And um, yeah, so I just, I decided that I needed to construct an entirely new outfit and it took me a year to do it. So <laughs> let's get started. Um, I'm not going to go in any particular order. I think what I'm going to do is just show off everything in the order that I typically put it on. So as you can see, I've got some extensions in my hair. Uh, that's what this shit is like right here. This is my real hair. Um, and this right here is not my hair. So, um, don't mind the curtain, the window is open because it's beautiful out. So let's get started. Okay, so I put on some ribbon. Um, it isn't long enough. <laughs> I need to go get some red bias tape instead though because a very helpful friend on Instagram named Calvin let me know that I should try bias tape sometime. I just put it on right now because my hair is starting to like fall apart. So. Um, next thing I'm going to do is put on my moccasins. So I have some fully beaded moccasins here and they need to be um, repaired a little bit. No big deal. So they have like the flower accent here. We have some rainbow zigzags and then they're just uh, filled with black and um, I need to get some like inserts for them too. Something that's thin but still comfortable I guess and then the next pieces are probably more, like my most favorite in the whole get up and that's because they are something that I've always wanted and never had which are fully beaded leggings baby these took forever to make now I did um like I'm sure y'all have seen my regalia already <laughs> in uh, videos and whatnot. Um, something that I did last summer was I worked to get the dress, the cape, and the moccasins done um, as soon as possible. And then I worked on more pieces throughout the summer, like hair pieces and stuff. But I saved the leggings for last um, so that I could work on them throughout the winter because I knew it would take me a really long time to get them done. I started them in November, like early November, like literally like November 1st or some shit like that and finished them in the middle of March. And yeah, I'll put them on real quick. All right, so I'm going to move on to the hair now. Um, I've made quite a few different hair pieces for this. So um, here is this. This is basically like a headband. I um, specifically choose not to wear things over my head like a lot of people do um and honestly that's because i'm light skinned and i tan really easily and i don't want tan lines on my forehead <laughs> so i choose to wear headbands that go on the top 
um, little trick is I put some Velcro on the back. Um, so I just line it up in the middle and then I tie them in the back. Probably should have mentioned that just about everything in this regalia is constructed by me. Um, except for this next part. So the next thing that I add on are my minks. I have um, two whole minks here. And um, what I mean by I constructed everything besides the minks is I did not trap and um, skin these minks. <laughs> I bought them at a local powwow. So yeah, I just take these and... I put the minks uh, towards the bottom of my pigtail and then I have these leather straps and yeah I just wrap them very tightly around the mink and my hair. Okay so I have my minks on. The next thing that I put on are my hair ties. So I have um, these hair ties here and I just go right here, uh, like little ties on the back, and I just uh, tie them right over the place of the mink where um, the leather ties are. There's that. I think the next part that I'm going to do is, maybe I'm the only one doing this at this moment, but I'm sure y'all know I talk about this enough on my channel. I'm going to put on some beaded eyebrows okay so i got the beaded eyebrows i have my lash glue a brush and um why don't we just like <laughs> okay so the next part of the regalia is uh i guess sort of the main attraction itself and that would be the jingle dress so i made this jingle dress myself um the first jingle dress that I've ever made. It is a zipper, a front zipper closure. Um, it's made with this really satiny type of fabric that um, is very sensitive, might I add. If you like cut it, it will shred. So if you use fabrics like this, just keep in mind you need to fray block the shit out of it. Um, and I line the inside with some muslin. So it's red and then um, black in rainbow. So that's, as you can see, basically the overall theme, the color story of uh, my regalia, which is black, red, and rainbow. I have five rows of cones, and these are the Anishinaabe Bemishimo cones. I can get them. They got like little teepees on them. They're super cute. Um, and then I have some flower applique work on the front and the back. I do think I want to add some fringe, some like black fringe on the bottom of my dress. Um, I just haven't done that yet. Now if you've been watching my channel or if you follow me on like my Instagram, you've seen this dress before. Um, but in past powwows, I actually had different sleeves. I redid the sleeves and never got to dance in a powwow with them yet. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and slip into my dress and then we'll move on to the next item. <laughs> okay, so if you notice, my dress doesn't have anything on the top. And that is because another one of my prized items of this outfit is my cape. So I have a fully beaded cape. This is the back and then we have the front. Um, this is, it's got some black fringe on it. This is actually the fringe that I think I want to put on the bottom of my dress as well. Um, so yeah, it's fully beaded. Just like the dress, it's lined with muslin. Okay, so now that I have this on. My next piece is my choker and my medallion. So I have like this cool little zigzag choker um, and then a medallion and it's connected to the choker by these little peyote ropes. This choker was actually designed by somebody on Instagram. I can't remember 
they're at, but I'll link them down below. They um, did something that they call cousin beading, and it's basically their version of the Be This In Your Style challenge. So I took part in that, and um, yes, yeah, so I got these little strings, and I'm just going to tie it on. Okay, so this next part is a twofer, I guess. Um, so I have this hair piece. Um, it's fully beaded, lined with leather, it's got a hair clip, and it goes on the back of my head. I also have like a little slot in the leather, and that is for something very special. Um, my immature eagle feather. So this was actually given to me by my medicine man, um, and he gave it to me for, uh, using my medicines with it so I also choose to wear this in my hair um, and I just stick it in this slot here and it holds it perfectly I think I really want to like change the clip that is on that hair uh, my hair piece though because it's not a very good clip <laughs> Um, yeah, so I take a bunch of bobby pins and clip it in place so my eagle feather isn't Hey, future Chelsea here. I'm just going to creep into the video uh, real quick because I filmed the entire video and I filmed my, uh, my dance category for this virtual towel I'm a member of and I forgot my earrings. All that and I forgot my earrings. So I'll just show them to you right now. Um, again, made by me. We have this really sparkly cab, um, just a random rainbow pattern, and I lined it with sweet grass, unbraided sweet grass. Mm, I wanted some medicine in my earrings, so um, yeah, they're just like little studs, and I pop them in my ears, and yeah, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Okay, so the next part kind of a collection of things. Um, I'm going to start with this here is a bag. Go ahead, noodles. Go on. Can you do it? You did it. Good job. <laughs> anyway, this is a bag that I made. Um, it doesn't exactly fit like the whole theme of the dress and that's because besides the obvious carrying the phone and the money, it's also used to carry uh, the tobacco the Sema that I use for uh, prayers, dancing, so I made the decorations kind of very specific to my name, my colors, who I am, who my spirit is. Um, this is the first time I've ever made a leather bag, so it isn't like perfect, but you know what, it's mine, and it's got uh, a leather braided handle. And then I made it a zipper closure. I do plan on creating a little pocket in there that will be specific for any loose tobacco that I might be offered. Um, but yeah, I cut like little fringes on the bottom. So I take this back. I don't hold it. I actually put it on this next item, which is my belt. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen this belt. This belt was also made by moi. And of course, you know, just like everything else that I make, it's not perfect, but it's mine. So I have these big conchos and these little metal pieces here. It's a corset closure belt. I put it on um, after attaching my uh, bag to it. In the bag, I actually specifically wear on my left side. Um, everybody's teachings are different, but I was always taught that when you carry your tobacco, you carry it with your left hand, and that's because your left hand is um, closer to your heart. So I'm going to pop this on real quick. The belt is on. <laughs> and the next part is this scarf. Um, it's got butterflies on it. This scarf was gifted to me last June at um, our home powwow, my home powwow actually, the Baymel's powwow, um, and it was gifted to me by 
my cousins slash the powwow committee <laughs> it was gifted to me because that year earlier that year in january and february our family lost three members we lost my great grandmother marie we also lost my aunt carrie and my uncle junior and at that time our entire tribe actually lost like five to six maybe even seven people i can't remember off the top of my head now um, and three of those were our immediate family. So at our home powwow that summer, we, um, the powwow committee held a special for our family and for our tribe. And um, my cousins asked me to dance for our family during this special. So they gave me this scarf as um, a gift for doing that for our family and I dance with it every time I dance now and um, it's basically like carrying a piece of my family with me this scarf so now I'm gonna save the best for last so um, before we get to that part I just want to share the very last piece that I made for my regalia which is this ring it's um, beaded with porcupine quills it's got porcupine quills in the middle. This is actually my very first time working with porcupine quills <laughs> ever, like literally ever. These quills, you will see, um, I made another video where I, I vlogged um, getting a porcupine um, from the side of the road. So that's where those come from. And the best for last, drum roll please acting like y'all didn't just see this last week and that is my fan so don't get me wrong I still um, I still hold my hot tail fan uh, in deep regard the thing with that fan is I kind of I want a fan as an adult and that fan to me um, carries a piece of me as a teenager I have this fan here I just again filmed a video with it constructing it it's my very first fan that I've ever made very first time doing any kind of the florette feather work or the thread work um, so it doesn't look you know perfect just like everything else it ain't perfect but it's mine these feathers are all um, eagle feathers the two white ones in the middle come from the eagle tail and these weren't like a special gift. I received these from the United States um, Federal Eagle Repository. If you are a member of a federally recognized tribe and you can prove it, you can put your name on a wait list to receive eagle feathers or parts and they have like a whole process for that. Um, so that's where I got these feathers and I chose not to put this one on the fan because I want to wear it in my hair and use it as a single feather for very um, the most special of prayers you know um, and then I have some other feathers that you know I can talk about at a later date I, I there has been a request from a subscriber to film a video talking about my eagle feathers um, it would be a, a rather short video but you know if you want to see it just let me know so yeah I'm all ready now um, I'm actually getting ready for a virtual powwow at the moment I am no like competition dancer I don't think I'm gonna place but you know I just I really wanted to participate um, do as much powwowing as I can and you know what perfect timing because I was planning on filming this video for you guys anyway I would love to see your regalia show off videos I believe I said this in the last one if you want to do a regalia show off video you know go on go do it you don't gotta do it all edited and fancy like mine you can just whatever I genuinely want to see your regalia show off videos and I think that now is um now is a great time to dig out that regalia get dressed up and do a couple dances in your yard even though we don't get to go all the way to the powwow i think that it's still good medicine to go on and put on your outfit and you know you don't need a powwow and everybody around to dance and pray so yeah um i hope you like this video and i hope it was entertaining or whatever you want it to be and 
Let's move on to the dance, shall we? Thank <laughs> you. 